Alright, good afternoon, people. Anyway, so basically, every, I guess, last day of me being home, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a little update video of what my plans are for the next time I'm going to be off. So, I don't know if I'm going to be doing much to this truck. Because uh, <clears throat> what I've done today is, you see from the last video, I got it running. Got it started, whatever. Did a bunch of the wiring in here. The gauge cluster is just in here for kiggles and gicks. Um, anyway, <clears throat> it's just in here so I know what wires go to what. So that uh, when I do whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. And uh, <clears throat> the bed, who knows what I'm going to do with the bed, but I'd like to go drive the truck, but at the same time, I can't because of the bed. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do for the next half, so half of by what I mean by half, is uh, <clears throat> my time off. So I work, they call it a half, so I work eight days, I'm off six days. So the plan is, uh, I'm going to be doing, solely working on this truck, the 4th gen. So I don't know if you guys know, I'm having some bumpers powder coated, front and rear. So, as you can see, <clears throat> is the front, is chrome, and I will be putting on some uh, powder coated white. He's gonna be powder coating them to match. So, and here's the back. So, as you can see, these ones have the sensors, the backup sensors, a big old dent in there. So, what I gotta do, um, <clears throat> excuse me, man, I can't breathe. I had a little drink and some chips, and, uh, oh, I love that alarm. So, basically what I do... Every time before I uh, head off, I park the truck in the barn. So, I just bring the truck in the barn so that any hailstorms or anything happens, anything weird, anything crazy. Uh, yeah. I'll show you real quick. <clears throat> My miles per gallon, roughly getting about 18 miles a gallon around town. That's just going to the swap meet, Harbor Freight, uh, just some other places. So, anyway, I just pull the truck back in here, and then uh, that next half, when I get the bumpers and everything, I'm going to peel the plasti dip I'm going to peel the plasti dip off the grill um, I have to tuck it in really really close that might be too close but I'm good with it so <clears throat> when I get back I'm going to focus all the attention on Oh, that's plenty of room. So this is all plasti dipped. The grill's plasti dipped. As you can see right down here, it's coming off. So uh, I'm gonna take all that off, scuff it up, paint it white. This valance right here, take that off, obviously, because I gotta take it off from that bumper. And I'm gonna paint that white too, so it's all gonna be white. 
I don't know what I'm doing with the running boards. I'd like to get some amp research, but man, they're fourteen hundred bucks. They're fourteen hundred bucks for the truck. So I might take these. I don't know. I might take these down to the powder coat and see if they'll powder coat them white. If not, maybe I'll just paint them white until I can afford some amp research. Meow. Apparently I got a cat that lives in here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Can't watch where I'm walking. But anyway, so that's going to be the plan for the truck for my next half. <clears throat> so next half is going to have front and rear bumpers on the 4th gen. Uh, they'll be ready probably uh, Wednesday or Thursday this week. But I won't be back till next Tuesday. And I won't be able to pick them up till uh, that Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how I feel, if I'm wore out and pooped. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try to have the kid sort out these cans. Stupid birds get into these cans. Cans and bottles. Um, sort all those out. And then uh, go recycle them so I can have some extra money since the wife's car keeps taking all my money. <sighs> anyway, so, and then before this video ends, uh, I have all the parts for the Cummins build in my shopping cart in eBay. So it's cheaper to buy the pistons, <clears throat> pistons, rings wrist pins and clips um can get all those all six rings pistons everything the whole complete setup for about 500 445 bucks for all pistons and then bearings rod bearings and crank bearings i'm getting them for about 180 bucks uh Upper gasket kit, which is head gasket, all the gaskets, lower gasket kit. I think the upper with the head gaskets, all Molly um, or uh, Cummins. So everything's going to be Molly or Cummins. So the pistons are, are Cummins, 20 over. The bearings are Clevite, <clears throat> Clevite bearings. They are 10 over, or upsized 10. I think it's 25 millimeters or 0.25 millimeters. The pistons are 0 0.50 millimeters bigger because the motor's been uh, <clears throat> bored out for scoring, whatever. Um, but yeah, so all of that with some ARP head studs, all said and done, is about 1300 1400 bucks whereas if i just buy a rebuild kit an overhaul kit that comes with all the bearings pistons basically just the whole, whole overhaul kit <clears throat> that's 1400 dollars by itself if i buy the whole kit but if i piece everything together piece you know bearings rod bearings crank bearings pistons gasket top gaskets bottom um all that comes to like 900 800 bucks and then the ARP head studs are another 425 bucks but anyway <clears throat> so I'm just waiting for eBay to have a deal once eBay has their little deal of uh, <clears throat> of uh, <clears throat> man I can't breathe of either 10% or 8% eBay bucks back then I'm gonna make my purchases Buy it, buy whatever I need, buy whatever I need, and uh, go from there. So, <clears throat> I was just noticing that the, I think the original color of this cab is white. So, maybe I'll be doing white, just like my fourth gen. But anyway, alright guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to go in, spend some time with family, relax, since I basically haven't seen them. All I've been doing is messing around with this freaking thing. <clears throat> uh... And uh, getting my garage a mess. So, alright guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe up here. Subscribe down there. Like, dislike. You know, uh, like. Help me out on the channel. <clears throat> I'm finally 
got enough viewers to where I can earn some money on eBay. So uh, just hit the like button. Subscribe if you can. Um, up here or down here. Check out my boy One and Glenn over here and watch my previous video over here and see this Project Crack Pipe running. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.